performance tonight. Gophers had not beaten Indiana since February of 2014. They would have the chance on Wednesday at the barn. Tom Crean would have the chance to see how his players responded after his postgame takedown of the Hoosiers following their weekend loss to Michigan. James Blackman Jr., part of that junior class that Crean called out, stepped up with 12 in the first half. Indiana up by 10, but then Nate Mason just took over late for the Gophers who struggled early, missing 17 of their first 20 shots. But Mason would finish the first half with 18, and Minnesota goes to the break up by four. Second half, one-point game off the Robert Johnson miss. Deron Davis, great board and feed to Jawan Morgan, and one. IU takes its first lead of the second half. Five to play. Indiana up by two. James Blackman Jr. makes it a five-point Indiana lead, but Nate Mason would go nowhere in this game. Little guard who Richard Pitino would say afterwards is one of the best in the conference, had 30 Gophers back up by one. Tara Thomas Bryant field goals, free throws, puts IU up one. Akeem Springs had a miserable night, two of 13, but a monster bucket with three seconds to play gives Minnesota the lead, and this time, James Blackman unable to be the hero as Minnesota beats Indiana for the first time in three seasons. The Hoosiers have now lost six of seven, falling to 15 and 12 overall, five and nine inside the Big Ten. Minnesota back above that 500 mark in conference play and now just one victory shy of what is often the magical mark of 20 overall wins on the season. The hero of this one, Akeem Springs, after the game, standing by with our John Crispin. Akeem, you didn't shoot the ball particularly well in this game, but down the stretch, you've got the confidence to take the ball and try to make a big-time play. Where's that come from? Man, I trust my preparation, man. I'm in the gym night and day. I'm in grad school, so I don't have a lot of classes, so all I do is be in the gym, man, and just... I'm just happy uh, my teammates trusted me to put the ball in my hands. It was just a funny game for sure, but I'm happy we came out the win. It seems as if the team's really coming together at the right time. Eric Curry, a lot of the intangibles may not show up in the box score, but also Nate Mason really seems to be playing at a high level. How key is he for you guys? Man, he's key, and, and the thing is when me and Cough weren't really going in the first half, he just gives us that confidence. I mean, he pretty, he pretty much put us on, our, on, on, our, on his back. So, I mean, he just gave us confidence, and he's that calming factor for us. I try to be it, but he's the point guard, so he's really that calming factor for us. It's good. All right, thanks a lot, Akeem. Best of luck to finish, man. Thank you.